in this section we will talk about nervous system now nervous system is one of the very important systems that we talk about and this comprises of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system central nervous system includes brain and spinal cord now the function of the brain deals with the uh, neural processes and has more complex processes that it talks about however the spinal cord deals with much more simpler and we can say reflex processes so that's a kind of summary to understand what the central nervous system is about now if the nervous nervous signals are not sent from the central nervous system to the peripheries of the body then definitely the sensations won't be there so what's very important is to have a peripheral nervous system which connects to this central nervous system so with the central nervous system we also have a peripheral nervous system which connects the extremities of the body through which you can have the sensation this peripheral nervous system again is subdivided into two sections you have the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system somatic means voluntary that means unless and until i want my hand won't move so that's totally under my control or that's totally in my control and this is what is known as somatic or voluntary on the other hand there is autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system is something that's involuntary that's not in your control for example beating of the heart is an example of the autonomic nervous system now since we have understood the two divisions of the peripheral nervous system let's talk about one more interesting categorization and that's the various types of the autonomic nervous system within the autonomic nervous system you have two categories those are the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic sympathetic basically talks about flight or fight that means either you have the energy to fight or you just move away from the situation or the response that is there here your energy level the activation level is much more higher in contrast to the sympathetic nervous system you have parasympathetic nervous system and that's rest and digest that means everything is in a relaxed mode the activities are lowered down and it's inhibiting the energy functioning so that's how you can understand it so now a quick recap of the nervous system you have the nervous system classified as central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system subdivided as brain and the spinal cord brain looks after the main neural and the complex processing spinal cord looks after the simpler task like reflex actions on the other hand you have the uh peripheral nervous system subdivided into somatic and autonomic nervous system somatic is voluntary autonomic is involuntary autonomic is further subdivided into sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system sympathetic means fight and flight response however parasympathetic talks about the rest and digest so this was a quick summary to understand the nervous system we'll be bringing many more lectures for you so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead